Welcome to AI Engineer Spotlight, the series where we showcase innovative AI projects and the brilliant engineers behind them. I'm your host, Adam, and today we're diving into an exciting conversational AI platform that's making it easier than ever to build intelligent agents. Today, I'm joined by two exceptional AI engineers, Vineet and Ish, the creators of TARS, a revolutionary conversational agent platform. Guys, thanks so much for joining me on AI Engineer Spotlight. Thanks for having us and uh, super excited to show what we have. Yeah, thank you for having us. Thrilled to be here and let's showcase what we've been building. Why don't we jump right into a demo? Sounds yeah. good. Yeah. Let's, do that. let's do that. So what you're looking in the screen right now is basically our agent builder platform. There are three components that you would see here. It's the agent, knowledge and tools. Agent is where you define a goal that you want to give to the agent. You give a prompt, you give an instruction to it. And then you connect it to knowledge, which has been connected as a, as a tool. So it's a retrieval tool. And this knowledge is basically, uh, you know, your business knowledge or from your website, from PDF documents indexed and saved. And third, you connect it uh, to tools. And in this case, I've connected it to Google Sheet as a tool to take a certain action. So what this agent would do, uh, and I'll show you an example uh, of the actual conversation in a bit, what it's gonna do is, I can ask questions to this agent, which is trained on VV8 help documentation. It's going to respond to my questions. And when I would want uh, me to be connected to someone in their team, I can ask it to do that. And the, it has got instructions in the backend to ask for you know, some personal information from the user and send it to a Google Sheet. So that's what the agent is supposed to be doing in this case. Let me jump in and actually show you what an actual conversation is gonna look like. It's a conversational agent. So it's an agent that you can speak with, chat with, and, and you can see here. So what I'm gonna do here is type in, um, let's say something like this. How can I, how do I vectorize when saving uh, data to VB8? So this is, you know, think of uh, a normal user who is on uh, VB8's website asking a certain question uh, about what they want to do. And at this point of time, what the agent is doing is it's referring to the knowledge tool that it has been connected to and fetching the right information based on the user's question itself. And that is what you would see uh, the agent has done here. It has brought in uh, a human-like response, did a semantic search on the knowledge base that we had connected it with and brought in the proper response to it. I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm just gonna say, I'm interested in your cloud offering. Can you connect me with someone in your team? And I have given instruction to the agent uh, in here that whenever a user does that, whenever they want to connect with uh, someone in our team, you should be asking for their some information like name, email, phone number, and then uh, just send it across to a Google Sheet tool that I have connected it to. It is Google Sheet in this case, but it could be you know your CRM, like a Salesforce or a HubSpot, or and it's it's basically a, a back and forth. So you know it could be fetching information as well. So let me just give some information here, something like this. Let's just give a number. Uh, let's say something like this and let's say no questions. And at this point of time, um, you know, it should basically just send all of this information to the Google Sheet uh, that I've connected it with, uh, which is exposed as a tool. And this is the Google Sheet where it should ideally be sending all of this information to. Uh, let's just go back and see if it has done that. It's gonna take some time. Uh, yeah, it did the tool calls like you can see here, you could, uh, you know, just, just for reference. And then you can see that it has populated this Google Sheet with all the information that I just gave it to the agent. So this is about the about the about how the agent works. Uh, Vineet is gonna spend some time uh, talking through how we use VV8 as well for the knowledge component of it. And he's gonna go deeper into how the tools work, all the tools that we have, and then also explain uh, you know, deeply about how the agent works as well. Over to you, yeah. Cool, uh, so yeah, that's our platform. So you can see the main platform, the main components are agents, knowledge, and tools. And agent is the brain of it, of course. And knowledge is where you get information about the system itself, right? So here you can see, I have trained the knowledge using the VBA documentation itself taken from their website. And this has packaged 
the whole knowledge base into a knowledge retrieval tool which the agent can use anytime a user asks a question about the about the subject matter which in this case is the VBA documentation. You can see here the knowledge retrieval tool has some basic configurations like how many chunks to retrieve from the vector DB, how many chunks to actually send to LLM and whether to have a hybrid search or not, right? And in the back end, we are actually using VWAIT itself to save all of this vector embeddings and to do semantic search and hybrid search uh, and package as a tool so that the agent can actually use it for question answering purposes. So what our knowledge module does, it actually takes information about a document or a website and it cleans it, it splits it, it embeds it and it saves into a vector DB and in this case that is VB8. So I'll show you here. If I go to here configure section, you can see all the pages that we have found for the documentation or for VB8. You can see all of these pages. You can click on any of these uh, links and find the content in a raw text format which the LLM uses actually and uh, you can also see the number of words. So all of this information is here. And if I go back, if I go back to the, the agent, uh, you can see the knowledge is now retrieved from this, uh, from this tool by the agent anytime the user actually asks questions related to this, right? Apart from the knowledge, we also have the Google Sheet tool, which the agent uses whenever it is ready to actually capture the information and send it to the Google Sheet. So I can show you here, this is the, uh, the tool gambit or the tool uh, module. It has all of these sub tools. And if I go to the configure section, and just to show you how many tools that we have, we have some 300 plus tools. Uh, we have added Google Sheet for this demo, but you can connect to your Google Drive, you can connect to Notion. We have a lot of, lot of options. So I definitely recommend to check, check this out. Lastly, I want to go back to the agent itself. And the most important part of the agent, uh, any kind of agent system is the prompt that is, that is going to be the brain of that agent, right? And we have realized that writing a good prompt is super, super hard. And that is why we have created this small utility, which is to generate these prompt using the uh, best practices that is out there. So I'm just put, putting a very simple high level instruction about what this agent is supposed to do. I've actually already written it saying that the, this is a documentation agent which is supposed to be helping the user uh, with the question answering from the VBA documentation and if the user is interested into booking an appointment, it, can, it should be using the Google Sheets to actually capture the leads. And here you can see, based on this very high level instruction, it generated not only the prompt, but also generated the welcome message which the agent is supposed to use for welcoming the user. I can use this, uh, age, uh, this apply this thing and this is actually uh, already connected. And this is how the agent actually uses the knowledge tool and the Google Sheet tool to bring everything together and to have this coherent conversation, right? So yeah, that is our product. Uh, I'll definitely recommend to check it out. It is on hellotask.com. Definitely check out VB8. We have been using it really, really well and it has been working really well for us. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot. Vineet Anish, congratulations on building something truly innovative with TARS, and a special congratulations for showcasing this impressive project at the AWS Demo Night. Your work is making conversational AI accessible to everyone, and that's exactly the kind of innovation we love highlighting on AI Engineer Spotlight. To our viewers, you can check out TARS at hellotars.com and start building your own conversational agents today. Thanks for watching AI Engineer Spotlight. Until next time, keep building the future of AI. Chat with you soon.